Today, I'm gonna find out if sneaker cleaners are a scam. And to answer that question, I bought all of the most popular sneaker cleaners on the market. Yes, even the I saved myself 150 bucks. I'm gonna put these cleaners to the test by using them to clean five identical brand new sneakers, all with the exact same dirtiness. All to find out if they're actually saving you money or if you're just better off with using what you have at home. And to make sure you know I'm legit, I'm gonna be wearing a lab coat the entire time. That's right, the piece of clothing that only scientists can wear. This not just something that you can get off of Amazon. With that being said, let me introduce you guys to the sneaker cleaners going head to head. We've got the Rejuvenator Essential Kit. This kit costs $35. It contains cleaning solution, which is four ounces, three different scrubbing brushes, a soft, medium, and stiff, and you also get a microfiber towel. This is the Creprotect Cure Kit. It costs $18, comes with one brush, a microfiber cloth and cleaning solution. Pretty simple. This is the Jason Mark Essential Kit. It's also $18, but uh, comes with just the cleaning solution and one brush, no cloth. And this is the Foam Zone 150 Cleaner Kit, or FZ150. This is $25, comes with two brushes and the cleaning solution. This is regular laundry detergent and a toothbrush, which you should have laying around your house. And the sneaker we're gonna be testing all of these products with is this. I, I actually don't know what it's called, but it's from Zara and literally the cheapest pair I could find. Yeah, I'm not going to be destroying five pairs of brand new Air Forces for this video. But also, this pair is kind of perfect because it has multiple different materials, so we can kind of see how the dirt interacts with each panel. The biggest problem right now is that they are looking brand new, so uh, let's go get them dirty. But to do this, I'm going to need a, a little bit more help. So, I found some cheap labor. Real quick, before we do head out, I just want to clarify something. I just realized now so obviously I bought five pairs of shoes but I was thinking about it we don't really need to use all of the pairs for cleaning what we're gonna do is we're going to be wearing uh, three pairs so that's six individual shoes that are gonna get dirty and then we're also gonna be able to have these brand new to compare those two once they've been cleaned and then that way we can actually find out how good the sneaker cleaner is. Boys, let's let's head out. We all got them on. So guys, welcome to test number one, the mud test. You're not jumping. Definitely. Or too cold to jump. Hey, come what? on, bud. Wait, is... you said you're not jumping? <laughs> what? Alia, this is very slushy. <gasps> no! <laughs> 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 Jump, run three, two, one. <laughs> oh my god, my. <laughs> yeah, we should. Bro, I didn't tie my laces. <laughs> so, bro, mine is complete. <laughs> No, for real, mine is complete. Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. Alia. <laughs> oh, that is freezing! Before we get into the next rounds, I feel like we've just got to rinse these things off a little bit because they are covered in mud and anything else that we put on here is just going to go on the mud and not the shoe like we need it to. Inside the shoe as well. Damn. Damn these <laughs> things hold water. And we got a bit of a, a tan look, eh? Yeah, this is better than a coffee dye. Round two is sriracha sauce. Get it all over. Oh, man. If this doesn't stain, I don't know what will. But let's get inside a little bit. Oh, this oh, really oh, stinks. <coughs> all right, so round three is going to be the dirtiest drink on the planet. Some prime in there. Oh, yeah. 
Now I have no idea if this is gonna clean them more or make them more dirty. A whiff of that. You know what it smells Let's like? A uh, um, ham and pineapple pizza. Round four, we got coffee, of course. What stains more than coffee? I don't know. Uh, and we also got the dirtiest kind, which is instant. Let's get a good even coverage. All of Damn, this stuff spreads real nice. Round five is these nuts. These nuts these nuts. I've actually never tried this. I don't know how this is gonna work, but... Oh, man. Get it all over the midsole. I feel like this would have been better melted. Yeah, you wanna melt it, maybe? Oh, shit, we got some melted these nuts. All right, this is uh, the liquid version of these nuts. Fuck. Nice, that though. smells nice. Oh, yeah, get it all over. There we go. Why are you doing can get it worked in there. I'm gonna really rub all of this in, get it nice and saturated. That is maximum dirtiness. If the freaking sneaker cleaners, any of them, manage to get these things looking even somewhat wearable, I will be shocked. All right, first one up. So as you can see, we've got one pair of shoes. We've got a bowl of water. We're gonna be testing the first one, which is the Reshuvenator cleaning kit. We've got our cleaning solution. We've got our three brushes. I'm gonna be cleaning every single sneaker according to the directions that came on the package. And for most of them, they say have a little bowl of warm water and just put the solution in there, dip your brush, and then just get scrubbed. All right, so I'm gonna put the cleaning solution in the water. Let's get a nice, healthy amount. Go, maybe a little bit more. You know, these shoes absolutely stink. Let's, let's go crazy with it. So I'm gonna start by removing the laces. Oh, this sriracha sauce. Oh, that stinks. Let's start with the soft bristle brush and just give it a little dip in there. Just uh, go to town. It's definitely not foaming up like I was hoping. All right, somehow it's really starting to foam up now. I'm gonna switch over to the medium. See if we can get some of these stains around the inside out, back of this tongue. All right, so I'm going in with the hard or the stiff bristle. Now let's get these laces. Chuck him in that water. All right, well, I think that's a good amount of scrubbing. So I've scrubbed it for about 10, 20 minutes now, used all three brushes, and uh, to be fair, a decent amount has come off. So we're basically just gonna rinse them off, make sure that they uh, don't have any more of this stuff on it. The cleaning brand that we used with this one, Rejuvenator and I'm gonna put it over there to dry. And then let's move on to the other one. Brand new shoe, this time we're gonna be using FZ150. 150 bucks. The most different out of all of them. They're all just liquid, this one actually foams up, so let's see if that makes a difference. Dip it in the water, you pump the foam, and when you pump the foam, you're in the zone. Okay, that is foaming up real nice. That is pretty sick. You really get a lot of foam action with this. All right, let's switch up brushes. Let's go with the firmer one. This one smells the strongest. Like I can really smell the the chemicals. That's enough scrubbing. Got the doorbell. Ah. FZ150 is done. Next up, we got Crap Protect. Oh, it's like a brown color. This smells the worst. Get a good amount on the reverse here. All right, well, all scrubbed up. New location because it's currently pitch black outside. The, these shoes are taking so long to clean. I get as much water out of here as possible. We got a Jason Mark, the essential kit. Uh, this is one of the more expensive ones because all you get in the bag is literally just the cleaning solution and a brush. Very, very firm brush. I don't know if I would want to use that on like a pair of 350s or something. Give it a smell test. Ooh. It smells good. That smells really good. Yo, why are these laces so stuck? <laughs> Basically like, because they're cold from sitting outside, all of that melted these nuts is just, Frozen. yeah, freezing and like becoming solid into the shoe. Yeah, look how it's sticking. So imagine that on a pair of 350s. What is it been like? 
Boom, rinse stuff. And last up, we've got the good old laundry detergent. This one is uh, non-bio, whatever that means. And unfortunately, a toothbrush. Probably gonna be the one that takes the longest, but let's see if uh, you can really clean a shoe as good as the other sneaker cleaners with literally just what you have at home. After a good rinse, this could be good. Right, well, the toothbrush definitely took the longest to scrub, but uh, we got there in the end. Moment of truth, we're gonna rinse these off, we're gonna let them dry overnight, and find out which one did the best job at cleaning these sneakers. And it kind of looks like an art, an art studio in here. We got detergent, we got Crep Protect, we got Jason Mar, Juvenator, and FZ150. Honestly, at this point, they're looking pretty similar. It is time for final results. So all of the shoes in front of me are all dried up. Of course, we're gonna compare all of these shoes to a brand new one. Yeah, the first very obvious observation about all of these sneakers is that they all kind of look pretty similar. So over here, we've got Creprotec. A lot of staining. That Sriracha sauce did not come out, uh, especially the midsole. That is pretty stained with that Sriracha sauce. Stitching is just mocha brown. I think Creprotec did a solid job up at uh, somewhat bringing these things back to life. Next up, we've got detergent. Probably the most interesting one because this is really a test to see if you can just clean your shoes with what you have at home or do you need a shell out for these expensive sneaker cleaners. And honestly, detergent looks like it did exactly the same as Crep Protect. I mean, it does still have all of the sriracha staining. Uh, some of the mud is definitely still on here. And then we've got FZ150. The stains on this one is definitely more more apparent around the stitching, some pretty heavy stains. Uh, that never got removed. Not the greatest job, FZ150. It looks like Crep Protect did slightly better on that. Next one, we have Jason Mark. Seems to be very clearly one of the worst ones. I mean, compared to detergent, Crep Protect, and FC150, the inside is just the darkest color for sure. It also looks like all of the fabric inside is heavily damaged, and that's because the brush that it includes with the kit is so stiff. So yeah, the Jason Mark, definitely the worst rated so far. Rejuvenator, which isn't looking too bad by any means. But the inside is looking pretty solid, actually. So honestly, after looking at all of these shoes, comparing them to the brand new original, I would just have to say that detergent, as far as I can tell, did just as good of a job as any of the other ones. Let's find out what the boys think. Boys? Ooh, so you guys helped me get them dirty, so you can tell me which sneaker cleaner revived it the best. Um, straight off the bat, I didn't expect any of them to still look as bad as they are. Would you pay for a sneaker cleaner or would you just use some detergent based off of the results that we got today? I mean, there is almost zero difference in detergent and another and a different one. Maybe like I would invest in a brush, but in terms of the actual cleaner, there is no difference. Yeah, detergent for sure. Yeah, for the price. I think all three of us would just choose detergent. You chose detergent as well? Yeah. I mean, it looks like it did pretty much the same job. Uh, again, I said I would probably invest in a brush as well. So the two worst is... These two. FZ150 and Jason Mark. I think Jason Mark is the worst. Detergent wins. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. If you agree, if you disagree, uh, let me know your thoughts. Boys, thank you so much for helping with this video. Check out that video over there. I've got no idea what it is, but YouTube is saying it's a banger, so find out.